Here we are in July. The start of the new school year may seem far away, but already retailers are gearing up for back to school sales. And this year, gadgets may take a bigger bite out of parents' budgets. Courtney Reagan has more. For millions of children in the U.S., school just let out for the summer. But back to school shopping is starting soon and expected to peak later this month and in early August. That's when more than half of annual school related spending happens. And a new survey from Deloitte forecasts the total spent nearly $28 billion will be on par with last year. It doesn't mean the consumer isn't healthy, but rather the back to school supplies are largely commodity type items. A pencil is a pencil for the most part. That ups the ante for retailers. You have to be sharper in terms of what the proposition is for the consumer. So one of the questions we always ask is tell us what's important to you in terms of picking either the venue or the specific brand that you're shopping. We hear over and over it's price, it's product, it's convenient. Nearly 90% of shoppers say mass merchants, retailers like Walmart and Target, are the top destination for back to school. Online retailers like Amazon are now the second shopping preference for back to school. Some retail experts say Amazon's Prime Day shopping holiday has helped it grab more school supply share. Amazon is basically taking over, along with Walmart and Target, back to school. And electronics are an online business, and electronics is going to be the big growth area. Deloitte says spending on electronics will surge nearly 30% with the growth coming from mobile devices. And the smartest shoppers, Deloitte survey says, don't procrastinate. Those who wait to the last minute spend a lot more money than those who start certainly in kind of the middle of the peak. About $370 more on average. Buyer, beware. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Courtney Reagan.